what's up with it, IG? I'm out here uh, pumping gas in Beverly Hills. It's midnight right now. I'm pumping gas and shit. Uh, actually, I almost ran out of gas. No bullshit. Uh, but yeah, I'm just getting on here, you know, to fuck with y'all. Let y'all know, like, you know, like, where my head at right now. What I got going on. Uh, I just left left Diddy Crib. You know what I mean? That ain't my first time being there. Uh, brother invited me there before. I had lunch with him. Maybe like a month ago, a little under a month ago and shit. But um, I I had left the studio, you know what I mean? Yesterday morning, I left the studio with Offset and them at like 7 in the morning. The sun was already up. Can I get the change back from that pump, from pump number 8? I had left the studio, and I, I saw on Instagram that he had just posted a story, and he was up. So I hit, bro. You said what? I said $5. Okay, cool, cool. Don't worry about the change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. But yeah, so I was just leaving the studio. The sun was up and shit. And uh, I had hit him just to fuck with him. You know what I mean? Just to pass the vibe back and forth. I always end up motivated. You know what I mean? And and with uplifted spirits and shit every time I talk to Big Bro. So I just called him. Every time I call him, he pick up too. So I FaceTime him. He picked up. You know what I mean? And, uh. And he like, yeah, nigga, you know, I got to see you, nigga. I got to see you, you know. I'm like, all right, bet. He like, uh, pull up on me later. What you got going on later on? I hit you later. See what you got going on. You know what I mean? Pull up on me. Boom, he hit me. I had left the radio station. I went to pull up on him. When I come in, I'd have been in this spot before. Like I said, when he invited me out there for lunch, it ain't my first time there. You know, he he had a, you know, we talking about Diddy. You know, he had a butler. First thing they're going to do is, you know, offer you something to drink as soon as you come in. So the butler's pouring me like champagne or some shit. He in the middle of a um of a meeting, and when I come in, you know, he introduced me, you know, to everybody who in the room. You know what I mean? And, um, respectfully, and then you know he hop up and he put me in a motherfucking chokehold. You get what I'm saying? Which is, you know, I probably deserve it. You know what I mean? And uh, and, and we immediately, you know, we go out back and he sit me the fuck down and have a a, a real deal you know, conversation with me and, you know, throughout the conversation, you know, so much, you know, so much uh, knowledge was passed down and, and, you know what I mean? It was just, it was just a real, a real organic, you know what I mean? Conversation from a person who has had organic conversations with me before. So nothing about it, you know what I mean? Is is fabricated. Nothing about it is new besides the, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, events that have taken place between, you know, since the last time me and him have spoken, you get what I'm saying? Because the last time we spoke, we talking about big dog shit, and then you got a lot of this bullshit that didn't transpire with me in the meantime. But, you know, one of the things I respect about brother most is the fact that uh, that shit ain't, you know, caused him to, you know what I mean, turn the other way on me. Like, I can't fuck with little brother, this nigga, you know what I mean? So, um, but throughout the conversation, man, a lot of real deal shit was, uh, it was covered, man. A lot of real deal ground was covered. And to make a long story short, you know, um, I've been blessed enough, man. God has been gracious enough, you know, for me to, you know, to allow me to make it through, you know, the unbelievable. To allow me to, to make it up out of situations that the majority would never make it out of. And then still live a, a successful, blessed life like the way that I'm living. And still have the ability to, you know what I mean, be able to change change the game and and have somewhat of a uh, of an impact on on the world as a whole you get what i'm saying this this me we talking about little old me you know what i mean so um man i just feel like you know it's imperative that, that i get on here and share the fact that you know bruh sat me down and a real deal conversation with me and you know and and looked me dead in my eyes you know what i mean and, and made me understand because a lot of people have i've had these conversations with like a lot of people a lot of people have attempted to get through to me or whatever and you know i ain't no dumb nigga at all you know by far so a lot of the things people tell me i already know but the conversation that me and brett had like it's nothing that he told me that he hasn't just about experienced or had to live through himself you get what i'm saying and, um you know it, it really comes down to the fact that a lot of the mistakes he's made he's made for niggas 
like me and niggas coming up in my era, he made them mistakes so we don't gotta make them. You know what I mean? And, um, and a lot of the shit, you know what I mean, that I be having going on is is justifiable is, is I try to make a lot of these things seem it's still a lot more I could be doing to uh to prevent certain situations from from transpiring and and once situations do transpire even ones that may be somewhat out of my control even though it's never completely out of my control he just you know he reminded me how important it is to to stay on on top of you know continuing to evolve and never let the narrative be outside of my truth you get what i'm saying and um and with that being said, man, you know, I'm just I'm just turning a new leaf and, and I feel like, you know, me me, you know, putting this out there may inspire somebody else to who who may look up to me, you know what I mean? Um, to turn a new leaf, you know what I mean, and um and the and to never let, you know, the narrative control their future and I always control the narrative. You know what I mean, in hopes of of your future being exactly what your future is supposed to be, not what others may attempt to make it out to be. So with that being said, man, I'm on some new shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm on some new shit. If I get out this car right now and nigga slap the shit out of me, I'd probably say, hey, look, bro, you know, I deserve that. You know what I mean? You have a blessed night. You get what I'm saying? I'm on some new shit, man. I'm, 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 about, I'm about taking it to a whole new level. I'm starting at the one. You get what I'm saying? I'm starting at the one and and I'm I'm understanding it, you know, every new level. You know what I mean? You're gonna you're gonna be given a fucking starting point. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm seeing where I'm at right now. Like that's what I'm identifying like this moment as is the the beginning of a whole new level. You know what I mean? A whole new level, you know. So, hey, look, big bro, I know this is a long-ass video. I ain't never got on the internet to talk this motherfucking long. I don't even do all that. I don't even tell my business. I meet with niggas. I, I do shit like that, and I just keep it under wraps, you know what I mean? Because I ain't, it ain't really about all that. But, you know, uh, I appreciate you, you know what I mean? I, I definitely appreciate it, bro, for reaching out and um, and, and being a, a, a big brother, a mentor to me, and really putting shit on my mind that I needed to hear tonight, you know what I mean? And, um. And I definitely feel like the conversation me and bro had is nothing less than a, a life-changing conversation. And I just wanted to remind anybody who's influenced by me, inspired by me, anybody who look up to me, wish to be anything like me, wish to be more than me, wish to be greater than me. I just want to remind y'all, you know what I mean? Like, uh, never take advantage of God's grace. You know what I mean? And, um, and always push forward, man. Always, you know. Never be afraid to change yourself for the better. Never change the way you move for the better. Because that's what it's all about, being better, man. So with that being said, you know, I ain't on no, no New Year, New Me shit. I'm just on some, you know, being better 24-7 shit every single day that I wake up. And uh, I will hope that you all would do the same, baby.